Honey, you're so hot. It's time to cool you down with some PTM7950. In this video, I'll show you how I apply the Honeywell PTM7950 cooling pad to my GPD WinMax 2 and I'll do a few before and after comparisons. Here is a short introduction for those of you who don't know what the Honeywell PTM7950 cooling pad is and why I want to apply this to my GPD WinMax 2. The Honeywell cooling pad is an industrial grade cooling solution and what makes it so special is that its melting point is at about 45 degrees Celsius, which means it's in a solid state when you apply it but it begins to melt as soon as your processor gets warmer and increases its thermal conductivity. Linus Tech Tips has made a whole video about the Honeywell cooling pad and he came to the conclusion that its cooling power is about as good as liquid metal. Compared to liquid metal, the cooling pad is electrical non-conductive. That means there is no risk that you will fry your PCB if the cooling pad touches any of the other components. Also compared to regular thermal paste, this cooling pad is made for industrial grade cooling solutions, which are meant to last quite a long time. So you apply this once and forget. However, the cooling pad is more expensive than your regular thermal paste and according to Linus, the application is a bit more complicated. Honeywell does not sell this cooling pad to customers in low quantities, so you need to find a reseller. I'll leave the link in the description from where I got mine and which is said that this is an authentic Honeywell pad. The Honeywell pad is some fragile material between two layers of plastic and you have to remove those layers of plastic when applying it. To make the application easier, it's recommended to put this pad into the fridge, not the freezer, for an hour or so and this will help not to damage the pad itself when you peel off the plastics. That is exactly what I will do now and I have three of those pads just in case that something goes wrong and I damage the pad while applying it.
If you buy your cooling pad from Mod DIY, it will come with a sheet of stickers. You can use one of those stickers and attach it to one side of the cooling pad. And now you have a nice handle to hold the pad while you're peeling off the plastic layer of the other side, like that. And when now the upper side is unprotected, you can use the handle, rotate it and put it on the processor like that. And when that's done, the hardest part is over and you can just peel off the top part where the sticker is attached. But I would recommend not to peel the sticker, but use a finer tool and peel it off from the other side. That's how I did it. And once I used the little helper, I had no trouble removing the protection layers and attaching the cooling pad to the processor.
I'm back again and I'm totally amazed by the results. During gameplay in normal mode I can keep the TDP at about 50 watt and in silent mode the TDP stays consistently at about 35 watt which is absolutely amazing. All in all I'd say the Honeywell pad increased my TDP limit compared to the stock thermal paste for about 3 to 7 watt. I feel a bit sorry that I did not make any tests in silent mode with the stock thermal paste and now we don't have any numbers to compare. But still the results we got are super impressive. If I want to use the device in docked mode and the fan noise bothers me, I can enable silent mode and still crank up the TDP up to 37 watt. The Winmax 2 I got from GPD already had a pretty decent cooling solution applied and could cool 42 watts TDP consistently. So the benefits I get from the Honeywell cooling pad are welcomed and beneficial but they are not immensely huge. If you however got a Winmax 2 with a bad stock cooling solution I'd advise you to go straight for the Honeywell PTM7950 cooling pad and get massive increase in cooling power. Regarding the downsides of the cooling pad from what I have seen until now there are no real downsides in my opinion. It was pretty easy to apply and it was pretty easy to get an authentic Honeywell pad from Mod DIY. So just go for it and enjoy the benefits. Regarding the price, you can easily go with the smallest and cheapest option available, which is about 2.5 centimeters to 3 centimeters, if I remember correctly. And I still have enough left of this smallest pad to apply it to a second Winmax. So just go for it. With the Honeywell cooling pad applied, your Winmax 2 will become what the girlfriend of your dreams is. It's pretty cool, it stays silent and it's working hard for you. See you next time. Bye bye.